Second down here after the incomplete pass. They'll stick with the passing. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And where the ball is now, you got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the end zone a couple of times? I don't think there's any question about it. You might get a gift of six points rather than... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And the ball banked way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Finding time. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Second down now after the incompletion. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he comes back with one complete. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Now that's the way you run offense. Understanding your clock situation, excellent job getting to the sideline and getting out of bounds. That's the way to conserve time. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throw left side complete to Sharp. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And folks, kick is good. And that will do it for this. And actually, Larry, hold that thought. We're right back to the action. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The New York set to take the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff Spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Play action. They'll throw. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Duke Johnson, the one he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. And he finds Safarian Jenkins. And he's brought down after a good gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Left side complete, Safarian Jenkins. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, 
It used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. Now a handoff, Johnson, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They stay on the ground on first for Johnson. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. With a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Charles Johnson's stock in trade is coming off the edge and getting to the quarterback. He knows how to make some of those subtle moves inside to help in the run game, and he did it right there. He's an athlete back in high school, played football, basketball, track, so he's a mobile guy. Mobile guy, made a nice play against the run. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little, and when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate, and in doing so, sent this one off target. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. And the tight end Olsen right side. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Here's Newton. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. To throw on second down is Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Sheldon Richardson in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Second down sack by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. Third and long, it's Newton. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Jets take possession. And New York set to take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, 
you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? And he finds some space, past the 25 to the 27. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They go to Johnson again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Now back to throw. Screen play, Johnson. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Fielded at the 20. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. Carolina getting set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They go play action here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. A horde of Jets, huge crew there to make the stop. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because they, you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. Back to throw, Newton. And look at this, Cam Newton intercepted a third time. A great read and it's picked off. The New York set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. To throw now on first down and complete over the middle Safarian Jenkins 13 yards there on the pickup and the Jets are going to have a first down and after that completion you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position the tight ends have created so many tough matchups now if you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker this is going to be the result every time They'll look to throw. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Charlotte 
It's Jet football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter.